you're going to have to do a lot of tricep work to press it up. If you just launch it with your legs and it gets to here, that's too far. That's too close to straight. So you want to have it to where you just get beyond 90 and your legs are straight and you just finish that lockout. Okay? So go back to that. Try the other hand. Just do about two or three reps on each side and feel that connection and feel it pop to the right distance before you kick in that tricep. So just pop it up once or twice. When you feel like you got that distance down, then finish it once. So pump it up a couple times, and then on your third or fourth one, lock it out. Yeah, it's a little light. Put an extra strain on your shoulder. So feel the difference here. We're just going to move it forward just slightly. Now, feel the difference there? You see what I mean? Yeah. The difference between your ear. And then go too far back, you can feel it straining and being too much. So what you do is you find that tipping point. For most people, it's going to be sideburn cheek area. And the heavier it gets, the more it will be forward. But you're going to find your own tipping point. So play with that. Play with it forward and backward and see where it feels the best. Good. Let's bring them all down. All right. Dip, come back up. Dip, come back up. And then add the breathing. Let a little air out, a little air in. Just to make sure that your arm stays packed to your ribs. And you can practice it with no weight if you want. If you want, you can just hold your elbow. You don't have to do it with weight. You can just hold your elbow right here. Okay, good. So you have a lot of strain on the arm. Make sure you get to keep here. Go drive up a couple times. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Okay. Feel that difference? Yeah. Thank you. 